Okay, it's, it's time for some close-ups of some of the dynamic parts, and we'll start with the wing. Um, I'll just show you the servo as it comes installed from the factory with the LDS system. You can see that there is a, well I hope you can see, there is a aluminum hub that attaches to the servo in place of a conventional plastic servo arm and a machine G10 fiberglass arm. The servos are in trays and are screwed in. They're not glued in, so they are removable. And the servo covers come already installed and taped in place from the factory. And you can see that there's nothing protruding from the top of the wing skin. And let me see if I can get this open for you. Hopefully you guys can see the way the uh, fiberglass uh, machined arm attaches to the, the surface. There's a metal cross pin that holds it in place and it's fixed in with glue so it is not, uh, the arm is not removable. Same thing uh, for the aileron. So that is the wing. Okay, moving along to our fuselage close-up. This is the new dynamic fuselage. Here's the nose and the molded in firewall. Root detail, joiner, alignment pins, recess for multiplex connector. And here is uh, the tail end of the fuselage. You can see virtually identical to the older Pike Perfection. Now just for comparison I have here a Perfection fuselage. I will line up the wing roots and you can see how much narrower the dynamic fuselage is compared to the Perfection. I'm going to line up the wing roots here and you can see that the nose lengths are about the same because obviously the perfection nose would be cut off for the motor and canopy, posi canopy position is virtually identical as well <clears throat> and you can see how much narrower the wing saddle is compared to the Perfection. We'll go over here to the tails again and I will line up the wing saddles and you can see now the, the wings, the, basically the wing joiners are lined up and you can see that the tails uh, the pylons for the elevator and the mounts for the, the verticals or the rudders line up. So again, uh, tail moment uh, dimensions the same between the perfection and the dynamic. Same screw size uh, to hold the elevators on. I think it's 3.5 millimeters, some weird metric size. I don't know why they just don't use three millimeter screws. Same square carbon uh, rod or uh, joiner for the vertical and we have a nice little fairing here to cover the ball joint for the rudder and the same perfection style sleeve to accept the rod on the elevator. Pop the canopy, can't really see much in there. There's the carbon push rods, again this is not a 2.4 2.4 friendly fuselage. Here's the canopy with the carbon joiner for the hold down. Again, I recommend maybe putting a piece of fiberglass in the middle there just to keep that rod in place. All right, we got the dynamic rudder. Again, machine cord. It's not hollow molded. Same ball link as perfection. Same arrangement here to mount on the fuselage. No gap seal. Come on, Samba, give me some gap seal, please. Um, 
pretty basic. Dynamic elevator, again, as I said before, this thing is basically the same as the Perfection, except it is a solid core part versus hollow molded. Um, no gap seal, but you could easily put some on if you wanted to. Here's your bag of goodies that they give you, which is not really a lot of goodies because there's not much work to do on this model when you get it. Really high, really nice high quality wiring harnesses. I really like Samba's wiring harnesses. The quality of the wire is good, quality of the plugs are good, and they give you genuine multiplex connectors, and the solder joints and everything is great, and they mark them left and right. Very consistent, very high quality. Three little wood doohickey thingamabobbers here. Uh, these go on the floor of the fuselage, something like this, and you mount your servos flat on top of these, screw in the servos to the plywood, very simple arrangement, they're notched on the bottom so you can run the wiring harness or any other wires below the servos to keep the fuselage layout cleaner, a couple of brass reset 2 millimeter receptacles for your push rods, and a spare screw. All right, just for the heck of it, um, I have a perfection joiner here, and I have a dynamic joiner, and I will line up the center, and you can see the difference in length. So the perfection is a little bit longer than the dynamic, but the cross sections are identical, so I have put a perfection joiner in a dynamic wing and a dynamic joiner in a perfection wing fits no problem just the perfections uh, a little bit longer so you could trim this down and make it work if you wanted to here's my amazing little sketch of the root airfoil uh, you can see that the dynamic flap is about four or five millimeters uh, wider in cord than the Perfection, so it should offer you a little more um, control authority. The aileron is also a little wider, and especially with the flaps, when you put the flaps down, it should stop pretty darn good. Um, perfection outline here is in red, dynamic in black. You can see there's quite a bit of difference on the front 50% of the airfoil the dynamic is quite a bit thinner. And then back here, um, near the control surface, it's a lot thinner, um, or I should say the dynamic is slightly thicker than the perfection near the hinge line. So that's interesting. I'm no aerodynamic engineer, so I really don't know how all this is gonna affect the model, but I'm sure Samba had a master plan, and I cannot wait to fly one of these things. I'll take a picture of this and uh, put it in the video as well. Uh, just a few words in closing about the, the Pike Dynamic. Um, there will be a V-tail option for the F5J uh, model um, and I've been asking also for a V-tail option for the F3J but there, I, don't, I don't think that's certain yet but I, but I hope they do it. Um, they do have different molds for the fuselages for the 3J and 5J because of the uh, molded in um, firewall on the F5J fuselages. They don't they don't just cut off the nose and glue a firewall in like they did with the with the perfections. There was a look at the at the new Pike Pike Dynamic from Samba. Um, if I get any more information, I'll try to maybe make another video. Um, I think I'll definitely make another video uh, on the F3J specific model. And I have convinced arm twisted, blackmailed a buddy of mine to buy one of these planes and I think we're gonna, uh, one of the first F5J models that, that, we, that I got in and I think we're gonna be able to put it together really quickly and go fly it. So we'll take some video of the flights and uh, if anything stands out or if I have any impressions, I'll, maybe I'll make uh, another video for you guys. Um, I would like to say um, a big thank you to everyone at Samba. Um, Last summer, or I guess a few months ago, um, I actually flew out to the Czech Republic and uh, visited the factory and I, ha I had such a great time. Um, I flew in the Samba Cup 
which is a F3J competition that was just amazing. It was a blast. It was a it was a one, it was a once in a lifetime experience, and uh, I hope to go back for the Samba Cup every year. Everyone at Samba treated me like family. Um, Samba basically is one big family, so I just wanted to thank uh, everyone over there, um, everyone in the family for showing me a good time, treating me really well, giving me good food, giving me good beer. Um, it was it was just a great time. And I can't wait to go back. Thanks for watching this video, and hopefully, I will see you in the next one.